this is Nyx, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. We are here, Team Wildfire, ready to go through this frozen forest. <sighs> Torchic? I know I'm ready, but let's make sure Torchic's ready. It's horribly cold, but let's get over this mountain, Eevee. Alright, sounds like Torchic is ready. So yes, we are about to go into this frozen forest. Hopefully. Eevee, you ready to roll? Yes. Which way should we go? Uh, Frosty Forest. Alright, let's roll on out. It's freezing cold, but let's give it our best. Hopefully we'll have some ice types here that Torchic can really help us out with. Make this a lot easier. Alright, so far, not too much. Unfortunately, if we have water types, that might make things a little bit difficult. But at least Eevee can handle water types. Oh, well you are neither of those things. So, normal types we can handle easily. Ah, there we go. There's something for you to take care of. Perfect. Good job, Torchic. Oh no, I don't like agility. Let's just do that. Ah! It's gonna take two attacks. There we go. So yeah, this doesn't seem so bad so far. Knock on wood. Hopefully I'm not jinxing myself here. But I, th I think we can handle this. Other than I have no idea where the stairs are. I didn't realize in the bottom left it actually tells you what their type and ability is. That's nice. I don't know how I got this far without ever noticing that. Anyways, staircase, please? No? It must be all the way over to the right. There it is. This might be a little bit of a struggle for our belly if the map's this big. Oh. Well, there we go. We found the staircase already. We'll just have to get lucky. Hopefully, we'll get through this without too much trouble. Oh! I'm level 30 now. Yay! Alright. Let's grab Orinberry. That's definitely useful. I should probably not be leaving Torchic to take care of these. Because Torchic should be left for the ice types, but... Oh well. This works too, I guess. Torchic, don't waste all our Geo Pebbles. Let's move on. Oh, there's a Ditto! That's something you don't see every day. Alright, let's take care of that, though. Shouldn't be too bad. So far, we're doing so pretty good. There's something that's not an item. What's over there? Oh! Oh, this is just a huge um, shop. I don't think we need a link box. Revive seed? Hmm, I think I'll pay for that. And we don't need the petrify orb. Okay. That was nice though, because we did use up one of our revive seeds, so. It'll be nice to have another one. Thank you, Kecleon. Thank you for not attacking me, too. I am very, very much appreciative of that. Alright, looks like we've got one more Pokemon to take care of, and then on to the next floor. We are running very low on stuff already, and we're only on floor five. Well, that's why we got all these items, I guess. I think we'll be okay. Oh! What's this? Someone has intruded upon the forest. The enfeebled flow of icy winds is the intrusion to blame. It must be stopped, for it is to protect the forest. All right, we've made it to a little bit of a rust area. Yeah, I don't think we have many floors left to go to get to the top, but let's just grab a couple apples just in case. And then can I give Evie this efficient bandana? Not at the moment. So I'm going to deposit my power band instead, and when we get in there, we'll give Eevee the bandana. Sounds like a plan. Alright, I think we're ready to go in. I don't think we need this many revive seeds, but I have a feeling there might be a boss fight, so let's, um, let's keep them in there, shall we? Let's go on. Heart of the Frosty Forest. I'm still Torchic. I think I'll stick with Torchic. Oh, wait. 
before I forget, let's give that to Evie. Although it might be more useful for Torchic, and I might actually switch back to Evie. Torchic probably is the one that needs all the power points. Torchic's also the one that runs out of power points a lot faster. Hmm. Oh boy. I was not expecting rock types. I know there was nose pass in the last one, but at least this one should go well for us. Good job, Torchic. Alright, wow, we already got all the items off this floor? Huh. Well, sorry Torchic, but you're in my way. I guess we'll go find the staircase, maybe? We've come pretty far into the forest. I think we'll be out when we can get through this part. Shouldn't be long. Hang in there. Uh-oh. Huh? Evie, did you just say something? I didn't think so. A voice? I must have imagined it. It's snowing. Turn back. Uh-oh. You may not pass. And it's dark. Who's there? You are forbidden to pass. If you persist in trying to pass, then so be it. But only after you have defeated me. Ow, oh, it's too bright. The ice around us is reflecting this light. Man, they have such amazing entrances. Articuno. I am Articuno, the, wa the warder of ice. Those that enter the forest I shall destroy with all my might. Let us begin. That seems a little rude. Can't go for a stroll through the forest. Alright, let's walk up here so that way we can use our bite strategy to help Torchic out. Oh, although I think it might not work. I don't know what move that Articuno just used. But it might prevent Articuno from punching. But bite is still one of my stronger ones, so... I'll keep using it. This shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think, because Torchic, even though Torchic's been slowed, Torchic can do a lot of damage with their ice type or er, fire type attacks. Ice shard. Oop, Torchic, you better heal yourself. Actually, I probably should have healed you, but use that Oran Berry. But it's okay. I don't think this battle's going to be that much more difficult than. Mole trace. In fact, it might even be slightly easier. That is, if maybe I should use refresh. Let's take a second to heal our team. There we go. Now, oof! I wasn't expecting that, but we got plenty of revive seeds. But anyways, maybe Torchic will actually be able to do a little more damage now without being slowed. Oh. I guess that was it. I probably shouldn't have done refresh then. I think we could have taken care of that without an issue. Please, Articuno. We have to keep moving. You have to let us through. Or we have to get through this. Please let us pass. No, I cannot allow your passage. Why? Why can't we pass? The frigid forest air has warmed considerably in recent times. Warmed? I'm still freezing, but... The flow of frigid air has been disturbed in the forest. Snow has started to melt. Snow is melting. Snow that has never melted before. This has never happened, even once. Then you appeared in the forest. Is this not your doing? We, we don't have anything to do with that. It's a coincidence. Hey, Articuno, you have to listen. It's not our fault that the snow is melting here. It's not just here. Natural disasters are happening all over the place. Even if we hadn't come, the frigid air here would have been disturbed. Is that all? You expect me to believe that? Ah! Enough of your foolish talk. Prepare for your end. Stop it. Yay, Absol! Absol? 
There is nothing false in what they said. Calamities are indeed occurring in nature everywhere. Is... is that true? Yes. I have the ability to sense natural disasters. The calamities taking place now are of a special nature. I've never experienced such before. So there are calamities beside this. Fine. I will choose to believe you. You may pass. Articuno. <laughs> However. Ah! You must try to prevent the calamities from spreading. I'm counting on you. Yep, we promise, Articuno. Whew, Absol saved us there. That was too close. Thank you. You saved us. Rather than saying thanks, focus on stopping the calamities before they worsen. If they are left unchecked, worse will befall us. My instinct wars warns me so. <sighs> I sense the terrible power of the natural calamities. I was led here by my feelings of foreboding. I think it would be best if we combined forces. I will join you. What? You, re you will? Really? Really? To put an end to the calamities, cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. Thank you, Absol. Level 28. Alright, so we are not underleveled. That's nice to see. Absol joined your team. Whoa, it has a rare quality. Squeeze out. Alright, that was fun. Definitely a lot easier than Moltres. So we've We've already done Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres. Who's next? And so. After getting through the frosty forest, Eevee's team headed farther north. The more they advanced, the harsher the conditions became. Oh, boy, that is harsh. This icy mountain path seems to go on forever. We've walked a long way here. Torchic looks exhausted, too. We've been running all this time out of desperation. What's in store for us ahead? Are we really doing the right thing? <sighs> it's too cold. There's only snow around us now. The scenery hasn't changed at all for a while. Are we even getting anywhere? Hey, Evie, you know what I'm thinking? I think we finally reached a place where there's no one else but us. I also have this feeling there's nothing ahead of us here. And I'm feeling pretty beat. We too. What's going to happen to us? I have no idea, Evie. Or torture. Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. It doesn't help scaring you like that. We came out here. There's no point wondering about it. Even if we don't know what's ahead, we just have to keep going. Don't worry. There's got to be something ahead. Evie, I came out here because I believed in you. And that's not changing. I'll keep believing in you, Evie. I'll go wherever you go. Yes. Torchic trusts me without any doubt. I can't afford to be indecisive. I have to believe in myself more. Oh, uh-oh. What? What was that? D dizzy? What? Huh? What's the matter, Evie? Finally. Finally, you have arrived. Someone, someone is talking to me. Torchic? No, that voice isn't Torchic. This voice. I've heard it somewhere. Finally, you have arrived. I've been waiting for you. G Gardevoir? I am so glad. Finally we get to meet. You're... what? Hey Evie, what's up with you? Talking to yourself like that? I cannot be seen by others. I'm visible only to you. A little farther ahead, there's a jagged mountain range topped by Mount Freeze. On its peak, Ninetales lives. Ninetales? Ninetales awaits your arrival. Beware. Oh, w wait! Hey, Evie, come on, Evie. What were you doing? What just happened to you? Okay, so that's what happened. Gardevoir appeared to you, so that's why you were looking so stunned. But wow, Ninetales isn't just a legend, it really exists. 
And that Ninetales is at the peak way up there? <sighs> Evie, all the effort we put into getting here, it's finally going to pay off. We'll finally meet Ninetales and get the truth. We'll finally clear your reputation, Evie. That'll be great. Hey, Evie, you don't need to look so worried. It'll be okay. I can understand how it'd be scary for you to meet Ninetales, the heartless human who abandoned Gardevoir. The how that might be you? I bet you're scared thinking that. But that's impossible. You're not that human, I'm sure. How can you say that? Hmm? Well, there was a time when I had some doubts, but now... I wonder why. I really don't know why. But it doesn't matter now. Evie, you're a really good sort. You know, before... When I first got the idea to start this rescue team, I met you in the tiny woods, Evie. Now that I think about it, there was something different about you. Just a feeling. This is kind of weird, isn't it? But I believe in you, Evie. Anyways, we'll know the truth when we get to the peak. Let's give it our best. Alright. And Absol just, like, sitting there all stoic and silent. Anyways. Whew. What a long journey. I think in the next episode, though, we'll finally make it to the peak and find out what happened. Are we the human that abandoned Gardevoir? I guess we'll find out then. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. And I shall see you all in the next one. Bye, guys! Mm -hmm.